Hey guys, what's up? It's Bovine, and uh, welcome back to another Minecraft video. So I made a new diamond pick right here, and I got down, I mean I got up to 31 levels by mining some quartz in the nether, which is right here. So I want to enchant it, even though it says efficiency 3, I still want to see what else I get. Yes! Fortune 2! So I could get a Fortune 3 book and combine it. I mean, a Fortune 2 book and combine it and make it Fortune 3. So that's good. Okay, so... As you may have seen by the title, uh, we're making a mob farm today. And this is 200... About 200 blocks tall. It goes up to Y 200. So if you see this number right here, ignore the twos. If you see this number right here, this 63. That is our Y coordinate. Let's see, now that I went down a block, it's 62. This doesn't end until you get to 220. So I'm going to climb up it real quick. Oops. Well, okay. That is what you don't do. My stuff's even in the water. Alright. Okay, I got all my armor. Where's my sword? Where's my sword? heck? Where's my sword? Oh, here's my sword in my bed. Is there anything else down here? I don't think so. I think that's everything. Anyway. Let's try this again. Okay, we have made it to Y 220 up here. Okay, so this is pretty much the model that I have so far, and I just need to repeat it all the way up. Uh, I'm using a tutorial that I found on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description, I guess. The guy says he got it from Etho, but I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, so I continued it up all the way. This is 22 blocks. As you can see, 343. It's 22 up from the little hopper right there. Those uh, collect items for you automatically. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, now I need to extend this ladder downwards, which is going to be really hard. And I'll show you it from the bottom, too. Uh, I'm going to have to get some buckets of water. So here's what it looks like from the bottom. And I'm going to add a big spawning platform up there. 
just haven't gotten around to that yet. I need to get my buckets of water. Sorry if it seems like uh, I'm just kind of cutting around and doing it off camera, but I really don't want to do a tutorial on something that I didn't des design or create. Now, however, the guy uh, who I am following this mob farm design from did not build his looking anything like how mine does. I, I put my own touch on it in terms of uh, looks, I guess. Well, it's starting to look pretty good from underneath. It may look a little weird to you now, but I'll go up there and I'll go up there and show you what all I have done so far. What the heck was that noise? It was you. Look, this mob spawner is already working. Alright, so basically what we have here is all these 3 by 3s right, right there, right there, right there, right there, 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 and here are all spawning pads for mobs to spawn on. And we're going to have water in between here, and it's going to push them all down here. Right now I have it blocked off just for an infinite water source, just for now. But here's one thing I need to do, I can show you guys. So if we put these down, not like that, but like that, right? I'll show you why that works. So there's going to be water down there, so mobs can only spawn on these little platforms. Now, now, say these were open, right? Well, they see these as platforms they can walk across whether they're open or closed. So right now I'm standing on it. If it's closed, like that, or open, or however you want to say it, if it's like this, they don't care. They see it like that. So, as you just saw, I'll f I would fall if I was standing there and it moved, but they see it as open. So they'll be like, oh, this is open, right? Right? They think so? Nope. Then they fall in the water and get pushed down. So we need to go around and place those on all of them. Okay, well, I knew I wasn't going to have enough. Uh, I still need right there, this one, this one, this one, this one, in here. But you get the idea, right? Here's a better example. So they see it as like this, when it, even if it's actually like this. So they think, oh, I can walk across here. But they actually can't, because they'll go like this. And fall into the water that's pushing them, and it'll push them into here. Now, to explain how this works exactly, I have went ahead and just added a wall around, and I managed to kind of, like, add another spawning pad in the corners, which is cool, so I just need to, I went ahead and added some more trapdoors, but I need some right there, some right here, and now I need them for the new ones that I managed to kind of creep in. But basically, mobs will spawn here, because it's going to be dark in here. Like if all these torches weren't here, they would all spawn. So I need to put like a, a roof on this, and then it'll be super dark in here, and they'll all spawn on these platforms. And I already showed you the trick right here. So they'll fall into the water. I really don't want to die here. So I'm just going to show you, and then I'll tell you. So 
so I use push to talk, and whenever I push my button, it uh, makes me uncrouch, which is how I almost died earlier. Where do I need to go now? Okay. Yeah, so that's how it works. I wonder if it does work. I need to add a roof to it. It looks pretty cool from the bottom. Now, pretty much the whole point. Oh, I only have raw potatoes. The whole point uh, is it's supposed to be dark so that they can spawn even during the daytime. And it doesn't have to just be nighttime. And then they'll fall down this. Here, I can even do this now because I. I have enough stuff. I have these hoppers, right? And... They will pick items up. And they'll put them in this chest right here. Right, so there's some of the building materials that I dropped. So if I go back and cover them... See, there we go. And now, whenever the mobs fall down... Sorry, I scratched my ear there. Whenever the mobs fall down, they will, um... be at one hit. Like, I can hit them once. And they'll die, and I can get the drops automatically into the chest, and then I can get the experience, too. So that's kind of the whole point of this. I need to, like kind of kickstart my world, get get some good experience so I can get enchants and stuff like that. Alright, so I finished the walls and I put a roof on this thing. These are all uh, slabs on the bottom side of a block, so mobs can't spawn up there. Which means they can only spawn in here, and I think it's looking pretty good. I fixed the water to where there's three buckets now on the wall and it all flows perfectly so let's break these torches and give it a try See, it's pretty dark in here. We are at... Where is the light level? I think it, it is that L right there that says 0. Next to the D on the third line, it says C, and then some numbers, and then it says D12, and then it says L0. I believe that is the, the light level. Could be completely wrong, though. Oh, yes, I am. Look down below the coordinates. right here. Light. Zero. So they should be able to spawn in here. That's kind of weird. I hope that's just a bug. Have the light coming through. Still says light zero. Huh. I wonder why there's no mob spawning. Go down and see. Okay, I do have some slabs. 
Alright, well, we'll just wait a while and see if anything spawns and falls down here, I guess. I have no food either. It's daytime. Oh! We got one! We got a skeleton! And he is one punch from dead. Alright. That's what I like to see. It's working. Here's my ladder to get back up there. Now I wonder how oh there's see there's the arrow that he dropped. I'll demonstrate it. I can't drop anything in there. Look, there's another one. I can't hit him. There's a zombie. Ow! Alright. So, if we let this thing build up for a little while, we'd probably have a bunch of mobs in there. See, there's another zombie. Uh, I'm only at one heart, though, so I'm kind of scared because I have no food. Zombie flesh. Hmm. It's kind of weird that uh, I can't hit them like all the way over there. You might be able to. All right. Well, it looks like it's working. Creeper. Cool. This is exactly what I wanted. So now we can just kind of stand here and wait for a bunch of mobs to spawn. Um, I am worried though that they can, since the skeletons can shoot through here. That it may be a problem. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. That does help a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.